This is definitely the most humiliating execution ever. What was originally a brutal hang, turned into a new spectacle orchestrated by this man. Instead of a simple hanging, the condemned man turned into the center of attention, showcasing his skills on a makeshift swing or performing an aerial stroll. The atmosphere changed from a grim execution scene to a personal stage show, leaving the onlookers dumbfounded. Even the sheriff, facing such an unprecedented situation, was infuriated and decided to execute the man with a gunshot. However, just as they were about to shoot, a knife suddenly flew in from a distance, cutting the rope and sending the man flying. Quick-thinking individuals in a nearby vehicle caught the rope, dragging the man by the neck as they sped away. The other five people in the car were also extraordinary in their own ways. Tommy, the most skilled among them, demonstrated his abilities by cleverly handling a situation where someone tried to bully his girlfriend, using flour as a distraction. He skillfully caught the falling powder, but they believed that their opponent couldn't match their guns. To prove them wrong, Tommy threw flour into the air, and in a stunning move, a flying knife pierced through the flour, leaving to pieces hanging in midair. This day took an unexpected turn when a man claimed to be Tommy's long-lost father. Having grown up as an orphan, Tommy eagerly accepted the man as his father. However, the reunion was interrupted by a group of bandits, who demanded that the father return stolen money or face dire consequences. The bandits kidnapped the father, leaving Tommy determined to rescue him. In an attempt to recover the money, Tommy and his friends was ordered to a unique heist. Tommy distracted the bank manager with a donkey, while agile accomplices swiftly entered the bank through an upstairs window. Knowing that the money was in the nearby safe, Tommy quickly concocted a magical potion, using a pencil lead and sprayed it upward. Realizing the danger, the manager was too late to stop them, and Tommy escaped with the money right under their noses. Passing by a bar, they learned about a notorious villainous bar owner with a golden dog head. Their plan to steal the golden dog head was thwarted when they encountered two half-brothers, expanding their group to six. Traveling to another town, they witnessed the town mayor's wife, which excited one of Tommy's friends to the point of being sentenced to execution by a hanging. Tommy skillfully cut the rope, saving his friend in front of the astonished crowd. Soon, they located the bandits who had kidnapped Tommy's father. Tommy handed over the ransom, and surprisingly, the bandits released his father. The father turned out to be the leader of the bandits, planning one last scheme before retiring, as an explosion scattered $50.000 in the air. Chaos ensued. Tommy captured the old man inside a cave, choosing not to kill him, as he was still his father. Tying him up, Tommy left him to face the consequences. Rescuing his fiance, Tommy returned to the tribe with his newfound brothers, and his adoptive father became a shared patriarch for all of them.